systems from the government or a private company that cost more than one billion dollars. A lot of work and money are needed for mega projects. The hardest part is getting similar systems done on time and on price. Many of these systems can fail if they're not planned or thought out well enough. Due to lack of money or bad planning, many mega projects have been shelved in the middle or made useless. Governments wasted time and money on big projects that didn't work out. Let's look at the top 10 most expensive abandoned mega projects in the world. Number 10. Ciudad Real International Airport, Spain It's a fact that Spain is always one of the most visited countries in Europe. A new field was opened in Ciudad in 2009 so that there would be less traffic at Madrid Airport. The field, which cost about 1.1 billion euros to build, can hold 20 million people at any given time. At one point, Ciudad Airport had one of the five biggest runways in Europe. It was 200 kilometers away from Madrid, which is the main city of Spain, to the Ciudad Airport. In other words, the field had gotten worse because there aren't enough airlines because there aren't enough customers. The Ciudad Airport, which was a huge project, that was based on a deal for a small amount of money failed in the end. Number 9. Dubai Creek Tower The Dubai government started the Creek Tower as a huge project with the goal of making it the world's tallest man-made building. After work on the palace had already started, the problem of getting so many sword lines to the top of the tower, which was thought to be 928 meters tall, soon became apparent. Another thing is that a building has to have at least 50% of its room used by people in order to be called a skyscraper. Only 30% of the Dubai Creek Tower, on the other hand, is fully filled. The tower's building has been put on hold for now, where it should have been done by 2022. Because of this, the mega project in question is one of the world's failed systems right now. The preliminary cost of the project was $1 billion. Number 8. Interstate H3 Highway, the USA, Hawaii The Interstate H3 Highway, which is on the island of Oahu in the U.S. state of Hawaii, had a lot of problems while it was being built. A plan to make this engineering phenomenon was first put forward in 1960, but it was never put into action because of opposition from environmentalists, locals, and strict environmental laws. Still, in 1986, the U.S. Congress got rid of all these problems and began building the 24-kilometer-long road. There's a military station that links the Keneohe Marine Corps Air Station on the East Coast to the Pearl Harbor Naval Base Hickam Air Force Base Complex on the south side of the islet close to Honolulu. While the building was finished in 1997, the cost of the plans was five times what was planned for the building. The reason for this was delays and other problems that made the building cost more. While it was being built, the H3 highway was one of the most expensive interstates ever. It cost $1.3 billion altogether, which is about $80 million per mile on average. It's an idea that didn't work out. Number 7. Naypyidaw, Myanmar The city of Naypyidaw, which is sometimes called the Ghost City, won the election and will now be the capital of Myanmar. Because there isn't much room in Yangon, which is the current capital, and the population is expected to double by 2050, the government of Myanmar began building the new capital in 2002. Putting the capital of the country in the middle of the country was the point of this project. Even though the megacity of Naypyidaw was finished in 2012 and had many nice features like hospices, services, good roads, shopping promenades, gyms, and more, many people were afraid to move there. Lots of people didn't want to leave Napiedao because there aren't enough good schools and hospitals and it takes a long time to get to the nearest big cities. For cities, the people who live there are their heart, so Napiedao could be seen as a failed plan. It cost $4 billion to construct. Number 6. Dubai Artificial Islands The artificial islands that are built in the water off the coast of Dubai are an impressive mega project. When compared to how these islands were used, this plan, on the other hand, wasted valuable resources, time, and work. In Dubai, the government hasn't been able to finish anything in the last 20 years except for the Palm Jumeirah. The finished Palm Jumeirah is another extreme. It sinks 0.2 inches into the water every year for as long as it exists. Too little planning and thought went into this huge project, which is one of the main reasons why it's seen as a failure. This project cost about $14 billion. Number 5. Forest City, Malaysia You can find the forest city in the Iskandar, Malaysia Special Economic Zone in Johor, Malaysia. It was a planned community development. The plan was made up of four man-made islands that were 30 kilometers long and located near Singapore in Johor. 
80% of the owners are from China, so the idea that people from Malaysia would want to live in Forest City is new to them. This is the main reason why Malaysia's Prime Minister has chosen to stop foreign investment in Forest City. Because of this, investors from other countries stopped putting money into the Forest City project and it stopped being built. Not many people live in Forest City right now, less than 500. Number 4. Yucca Mountain Nuclear Waste Repository The huge project to build the Yucca Mountain Radioactive Waste Repository was started so that the radioactive waste from the United States' hundreds of nuclear power plants could be properly disposed of. The people who lived in Yucca, on the other hand, were against the plan. In particular, they were worried that the water sources in Yucca would become polluted. This was the main reason they were against it. On the other hand, work on the Yucca Mountain plan didn't start until the early 1980s. In 2002, Yucca Mountain in Nevada was picked as the site for this facility after being given permission by both the President and Congress. It was in 2010 that the United States stopped giving money to the mega project because more and more people were against the plan. However, there's been no more building work done since 2012 when the federal court gave its approval for the work permit to be renewed. The Yucca Project is a huge undertaking that's caused a loss of billions of bones and has failed. The project was estimated to be of $96.2 billion. Number 3. London Garden Bridge Around the middle of 2017, it was decided that the site where the bridge was being built was not right for building that kind of bridge. Because of this, the bridge's building stopped. It was thought that a sum of $272.8 million had been put in. There were many other low-cost bridges nearby that served the same function as the London Garden Bridge, which was being built to connect the Temple Resistance Station on the North Bank to the South Bank. Number 2. Superconducting Super Collider USA It was assumed that this huge project would help the United States scientific progress a great deal, but it was a complete and total failure because it wasn't planned or carried out properly. The tunnel was abandoned after going 22.5 kilometers. It was supposed to be 87 kilometers long. In 1983, the U.S. Congress chose not to go ahead with the design of the superconducting supercollider and cut the project's budget. They did this because they thought the plan would cost between $4 trillion and $11 trillion altogether. A little over $2 trillion in tariff earnings were also used to pay for the design. Number 1. Rugyong Hotel the Hostel of Doom is another name for the Rugyong Hotel, which is a hotel in North Korea built to attract guests from other countries to visit the country. The hotel, which has 105 floors and is 330 meters tall, was built in Pyongyang starting in 1987 with money from the Soviet Union. North Korea went through a terrible financial crisis after the fall of the Soviet Union. In 1992, work on the hotel stopped because of this. Reuters says that the amount of money that the untreated hotel is projected to bring in is around $2 billion. This is equal to about 5% of North Korea's GDP. Because of this, this mega project is seen as a total disaster. Thanks for watching this video.